Stampers, this is Jackie Ballheis from Clomp and Stampers coming to you from Zealand, Michigan. And I was stamping this morning and I was just having so much fun that I thought I have got to make a video on this and share this fun with you. So lots of things to tell you about. Um, if we look at these cards, the first thing I want you to notice is the colors. Hello, these are the new um, 2017 to 2019 Stampin' Up! In Colors. And I, every year I like to kind of play with the colors, using them just with each other to show how well they go together. And holy cow, I am so in love with these colors. But the other thing I wanted to share, besides the fact of how much I love the colors, is the stamp set called Happy Celebrations and the embossing folders that go with it. I've had this sitting in my stamp room since the Occasion Catalog first came out. And I bought it, and okay. I pulled it out to play with it today. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I could have made a hundred different cards with it. And that's what I wanna share with you is how fun and easy the stamp set is to stamp with. Now, it will be in the new catalog, okay? So you don't have to hurry and buy it. Now, like I said, this didn't really appeal to me. I don't even know why I bought it in the first place. But let me show you, first off, when you look at these images, they are way bigger okay than what they look like in the catalog now there's several different kinds of ways you can use them and today i'm going to just focus on one of the ways and then i will play around and do another video at a later time showing you how to use more of the stamped words but let's just kind of get started a couple of tips i found is first off i think the thick cardstock okay this is the whisper white thick and we have um, very vanilla thick coming in the new catalog really work the best with these embossing folders because they are very deep and when I tried it with just the regular weight I got some wrinkles in it and I didn't like that so to, to use these embossing folders let's just move these out of the way all I did is I cut my piece of cardstock first and then I don't know if you can see the image on the folder but this one says happy and I just kind of eyeballed it, lined it up to get it straight in about the middle there. Now, one little tip for embossing folders, you know, not necessarily just this one, embossing folders in general. Does it drive you guys crazy when your cutting pads get all the cut lines in it and they start warping and, you know, we flip them and you know how that goes when we use a lot of thinlets. I have a set of cutting plates that I only use for my embossing folders. So they always stay nice and clean, nice and flat, and it makes it perfect for embossing. Um, stick it in there, they're nice and flat. I can see what I'm doing. Just a little tip, get an extra um, set of the cutting pads and, and set them aside and use them only for embossing folders. So let's go ahead and run this through the big shot. Okay, here we go. I think, can you see the image in there? It's, it's embossed, it's really nice and deep, and it just says happy. So now what we're going to do is I have um, two of the circles, okay, from that stamp set, and we're gonna use Lemon Lime Twist and Berry Burst. Now, these colors, oh my gosh, I am so in love. But what's really fun, as I stamp these, and I'm sorry, I think my camera wobbles a little bit. Okay, I need to figure out how to stabilize it more. But notice as I am stamping that happy is just starting to appear. Now we'll take our other color and we'll throw in some of these dots. And I'm just randomly stamping. Now when you do random stamping, if you notice, I was kind of turning my cardstock as I went. And granted, it's, it's a dot, but it has little, um, you know, feathery things that come out. And I wanted to make sure that each time I was stamping it lined up a little bit different so it doesn't look like it's perfectly random. And the easiest way to do that, instead of trying to always turn your hand to go different directions, just turn your cardstock as you're stamping. So there we have our happy with the dots on it. And then when you look at the stamp set, there are all these other words that you can mix with either happy or with celebrate. And that's what I did on these cards. So we have so very happy for you. And I like the look of white on black for words. So I just embossed a whole bunch of different words, um, white embossing powder on black and cut them out to go with these. On this one, I used all five of the in colors. And you can see them. And again, when you look at the stamp set, you've got this long piece, which is way bigger. I mean, look at what it looks like here. Way bigger than, you know, what we really thought it would be. Um, in the splatters, I think I used that one. 
Here we use Lemon Lime Twist and Berry, berry Burst. But you can see all the different ones. So anyway, I will have a link to the blog post in the video that will take you and give show pictures of all of these cards and give you all the more the details on them. But I was just so excited when I started playing with these cards today. And really, these cards only took me maybe 10 minutes to make all of them. Just grab my, my pads. Um, I embossed my words and started stamping a bunch of shapes on them. So I hope you like this video. I really hope you think about purchasing this stamp set. Um, I think it's a sleeper in the occasions catalog. Like you flip through the catalog and it doesn't do a lot for you, but man, once you start playing with it, it's a blast. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise you can always go to my website and place an order. And if you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to send you a catalog and be your demonstrator. So have a great day, guys.